Good day YouTube. This is just a fun little video, a bit of a CPU and RAM comparison video between Ubuntu 20.04 on the left, latest release, and Ubuntu Budgie 20.04 latest edition on the right. The main probably difference between these two versions is the actual interface itself. One is using the GNOME interface, so that's Ubuntu, and Budgie is using its own custom design one essentially. A little bit Mac-esque in fact there. Now uh, these are both booted up from scratch. They've only been uh, up and running for a couple of minutes or so. And uh, let's just get rid of anything hanging around in the background there if I can. And let's start to have a bit of a look at uh, what's going on here. So. Straight off the bat, uh, we can see a bit of a difference on the RAM usage. So the CPU is mostly idling out, so actually that's not fair to say. They're both loaded up and they're both uh, sort of going up and down there, but we'll get back to that in a moment. But boot it up from scratch, so we're using about 800 megabytes of RAM straight out, straight out, of, the, uh, straight out of the gate with Ubuntu 20.04, which is pretty good. I've seen better. I've seen definitely a lot worse in its older iterations. If we were to move across to Ubuntu Budgie, we can see that we're almost on a gigabyte of RAM. Uh, exactly almost there. It will take a few megabytes of RAM. So the interface that it's using does tend to use a little bit more of, uh, of RAM. Uh, purely operating system itself, we are not talking about adding or opening any software, otherwise that would ruin uh, the, the purpose of this video for us here, at least for me. But um, yeah, there we go. We are idling on the CPU, which is nice either side. We should expect that but about 20% more RAM, uh, maybe even 25% depending on the math there, uh, in terms of what uh, Budgie's doing straight out of the box over standard edition Ubuntu 20.4.04. So that's about it guys, just a simple, fun, quick video. Thanks for watching, please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and uh, I hope to see you guys there in the next one. Cheers.